Heather McDonald has got the juices scoop. When you're on the road, when you're on the go, Juicy Scoop is the show to know. She talks Hollywood tales, her real life mister, segment serial data, and serial sister. You'll be addicted and addicted fast to the number one tabloid real life podcast. Listen in, listen up. Woo woo. Heather McDonald. Juicy Scoop. Hello, and welcome to Juicy Scoop. <laughs> we never stop. We are on a national holiday recording this. We never stop. Brandy and Julie, <laughs> thank you for coming. Um, when everyone else is off of work, yeah, we all just continue working. Because this. how else will my Juicy Scoopers get their Tuesday show? And I couldn't handle the cries, the freakouts. No. Well, normally so on you. President's Day, we get with, together with families. <laughs> We, do we celebrate rich, presidents. We celebrate pres every year. Yeah, the I know the Goldmans get together <laughs> and they light candles and we pick a president to worship. And this year, I'm not doing it. We even do it, by Zoom. We do an oral report on our yes, favorite presidents so you, you do. around the dinner table. A be- it's yeah. what you have to do. Well, Jimmy yeah. Carter is. Uh, he is. He's going to like die in the next few days. Next right? few That's days. what hospice means. That is what he and he put himself. I have to say, regardless of whatever politics, whatever, whatever. Uh, I learned about their lo- now. I'm not a huge fan of Reagan. However, their love, huge fan. Nancy and Ron, huge <laughs> beyond fan. Have you been fan. to the Reagan Library? Not and yet. Read, Can't wait to go. And read the love letters. Dying. Oh, we're, we Watch the go thing. So we want to go so bad. And also her outfits and how tiny they were. All of it. So I saw her at the Peninsula and read like all read like in like two. The like, Reagan Library is a fun afternoon. I can't wait to go. They <laughs> yeah. didn't care about their kids. They only cared about <laughs> each other. I'm so there for it. And apparently, uh, uh, Carter and the the two of them knew each other their whole lives. Ninety five years they knew each other. Well, I'm, I'm gonna, so I'm down say for something it. Something that's gonna really freak you out. What? So Reagan's son from his first marriage. Ru- oh, not the Michael? gay one. Oh, okay. No, Michael. Mm-hmm. His daughter was Brandon's teacher <gasps> and I believe she's still teaching at the school wow connection yes and connection. um and she, she said when she yeah and she said when she went to college that the professor said any relation to Ronald Reagan she said yes he's my grandfather oh. and then he was like um Oh. Well, I don't like him in this and that. And it was really awful. And so then after that, she never would admit it in college. <laughs> That's what I do when people ask if I'm related to Ron Howard. I go, I'd rather not say. <laughs> Every time. People ask me if yeah. I'm related to Norm McDonald. I go, well, actually, it's Norm MacDonald. And I'm Heather <laughs> McDonald. So uh, no. Is there a famous McDonald? Besides the hamburgers? Ronald? Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> People, I did. Yeah. I did. I did spend one week convincing the school that because um, I was like, I'm so sick of being made fun of about Ronald McDonald's. Ronald McDonald, your brother. I don't know, I'm just just to say that your dad owns McDonald's. Yes. So I did, and everyone was like totally freaking out. I'm sure. Because we didn't have cafeterias, so one day a week you could order like a McDonald's lunch, wow. and I said, Yeah, we donate those lunches. <laughs> you know. And then about a week later. Now you're also a philanthropist. About a week later, a kid comes into the classroom and he's like, "Um, McDonald's is a franchise. It actually has nothing to do with the name (laughs) McDonald's. And uh, so you're lying. And I was like, whatever. (laughs) What was weird is my dad was in advertising and his biggest account was Jack in a Box. Jack in a Box? (laughs) Jack in a Box. Yes, uh, that is weird. And so then one time... um, so then Shannon and I felt weirdly loyal to Jack in a Box. Oh. And then people would have birthday parties at McDonald's and Shannon and I would not go because <gasps> they were such Jack a more successful box. brand than Jack in a Box. Mm. So then my dad's like, are you kidding me? And we're like, no, dad, we're not going to the birthday party. It's at McDonald's. And he was like, listen, it doesn't make a difference. I make the commercials. Like, please go to the store. Yeah. And then... Anyway, there's some childhood love. I had a fun weekend. You asked me about my weekend. I was wondering if you were hungover because it looked like you were getting after it. And with all the rich, you know, like ex, like Sorority sluts girls? from the 90s. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was the most perfect weekend oh. I've ever had a girls weekend. Just mm. flawless. First, it started out with on Thursday, I did career day at Brandon School. So you walked in front of the class and was like... In the all-boy Catholic high school. And, and I warned was everyone girl. not to do a podcast or be stand-up comedian or actor? 
I just to encourage them to give them the God, the, to pursue the gifts God gave them. Did you blast one of two songs when you walked into the school? <laughs> one being Legs by ZZ Top, the other one <laughs> Stacy's Mom. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Did you blast either one of those songs the second you walked in through the loudspeakers oh for those boys? Oh my God, yeah. I wish I had. How horny were all the oh, high school boys? You just like, in. yeah, Brandon, nice mom. <laughs> just we want to bone your mom. After boner um, <laughs> under their desk. So far from that. Being the case, I did think about my outfit. Yeah. I wore uh, jeans, a loose t shirt. Sure. And a smart blazer and tennis shoes. Oh, nice. you were, so, but you were hipping up. So you were in like, wearing like a up, rocker. But I was tee? wearing it, but I was downing it as far as like not heels, no skirt. What kind of shoes? Tennis shoes. Okay. And um, anyway, it was absolutely wonderful. The best mm -hmm. experience of my life. So Did you they were ask already, you questions? You were already on high. Oh, they asked lots of que questions. They were great. They, they were yeah. really good. So you were like glowing when you yeah. went into your weekend. And like, like the boys' school is like almost every teacher's, I think only a handful are women. So almost every teacher's a guy teaching them to be like men. Mm. And so the guy is like, um, hoodies off, hats off, phone and earbuds out. Anybody caught? We'll get automatic Saturday. Welcome, men. Give, <laughs> give your attention to Miss McDonald. And I was like, oh, thank you. Was Brandon in there? He came to the second one. Okay, so was he, he's used to seeing he you. He was on... super proud. He, okay, I was worried that no one would want to come since I'm a woman. And this is an all-boys school. And I said, I'm, I'm thinking about it now. I wonder if they just will automatically choose. Because, of course, I was up against cops, FBI agents, like some kind of juicy, exciting jobs mm -hmm. that, like, they might want to hear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I was like – and um, and also, like, a head of some gaming video network, oh. a CEO oh. exec of, like, Sony Pictures or whatever. Like, so I was like, okay, you know. And, um, and so then Brandon wrote me and he goes, Mom – um, I, I got everyone to, to book you up. Like your two classrooms are full now, oh, you know? That's nice. And I go, Oh my God, that's so great. What did you say? And he goes, I just told them that if they didn't want to go see my mom, that they were anti-feminist and they don't find women funny. <laughs> and I go, oh, so you kind of bullied them? He's like a little bit. And I go, well, good. But no, they were great. Where did you look out of the sea of the only gay guys that attend that school? <laughs> um, I don't see it. I honestly just saw boys that were being young boys. Yeah. Word, and they were very the word, respectful. The word had gone around though. It's like there's gonna be a woman that's gonna come in. It's gonna be so awesome. It's Brandon's mom. Is it Brandon's mom? Dude, I totally saw Brandon's mom. She's wearing jeans and a smart blazer and I couldn't believe it. It was so cool. Oh my god. That gaming guy is gonna be there? He is. I'm gonna go to that too, but there's a woman coming down the hallway. <laughs> It's pretty nice. I had to use the bathroom, and there, and, you know, no one's been in it for many years. It was nice and clean. Um, oh, that's the best. So then oh, you went no straight line. from the there to the. So then the next day, I went and uh, took jet suites over to mm. Phoenix, where my son Drake then picked me up. Oh. Went to his apartment in which I did a hardcore vacuuming job. I was going to say, <laughs> hopefully you didn't use the bathroom there. Uh, <clears throat> his was okay, but the vac I had to really vacuum this apartment. And then we went to a cute lunch, and then I was off to seeing my girls. We stayed at the JW Marriott. Very nice at Camelback Mountain, and cute dinner that night. Did we see – did we go to that – is that where you stayed? When no, we... it was a different one. I think I was okay. at the Omni when you guys came with me. But there's like a bunch, and I just like the vibe. So the next day was great weather, did the spa, hung out at the hotel. Did We decided to eat at the, the hotel and just had everything I wanted. We did We did a hike. Mm. Oh, we did you have grown we up. We got bikes and went around the rich neighborhood. <laughs> oh. Woke up every day by like 8 o'clock, got my Starbucks, had Did you breakfast. go to the spa? Went to the spa, got a massage, did the whole thing. Nice. Were you guys walking around like with your boobs out in the sauna? Um, no, we actually kept the suits on. Okay. And we're... I heard that the women were at the spa <laughs> and they were their boobs were out. No way, dude. Their boobs were out, dude. This is mom. Yeah. Anyway, no. It, <laughs> I, anyway, it was just so fun because it's like these girls I don't talk to all the time, but That's it's nice. like it's just brings us right back to like mm. you know 1990. Yeah. college time and this like everyone was great everyone's super supportive everyone's honest about their lives well i saw you it dressed up yes so did you guys go to like nice dinners we went to the oceans 44 which is kind of a scene so that was like our like hot at night and then the next night we ate at the steakhouse at the restaurant mm. and you were just like which i highly like recommend if you would like tips on how to do a successful girls weekend i did it 
I'll go into greater detail, like probably on Friday's Patreon or whatever. But it was it was perfect in that you schedule it out, you plan it out, you make your reservations. Maybe I would say I wouldn't even double up on reservations just in case you're like feeling oh, yeah. something and you're not. That I a little bit regret. Um, <laughs> but not too much. And nobody like and I couldn't believe it. I did not get drunk. I did not throw up. Wow. But you I did really have grown up. two like sophisticated like martinis per night or uh, totally, something. Totally, totally. I had a Cosmo and I had a cucumber, cucumber martini the next night. I had wine. Mm. I had a you know a day, one or two day mm. cocktails, but not insane. You did not drink a whole bottle of buttery shard at some point. No, I did not. <laughs> the, because the rum bower, I can only have like one glass now. It's changed. Why? It's been happening for about the last four years. That you it's, what? It's it turning on me. It you just get it's the turning headache. Turning on me. Yeah, it's all turning. That's yeah. when you switch and then you have to the to hard out. Whole another alcohol. <laughs> yeah, you feel as my friend. Yeah, you start going to the. That'll I know turn. how it is. That'll turn on you. But the wine w- will send yeah. you right into the arms of the hard liquor. Ugh. Let's Sad. talk about some juicy scoop, girls. Wah, wah. <laughs> uh, uh, gay people. Don <laughs> Lemon is Debbie. Let me tell everybody what happened. So oh. you would know this guy. He's been on CNN for a year. One time I was on a round table with him at um, on Wendy Williams. Mm. And he's um, anyway, well liked, but had some controversy. So he's, I guess he kind of got a little bit demoted me possibly in his opinion that he was on the evening run and now they put him in this like wannabe view show with these two other women and about a month ago he got very angry with this one new girl who's there he felt she was cutting him off done a little research I didn't know that I think they were each kind of interrupting each other but he's 56 and a man and she's 30 and he barked at her Caitlin Collins and she does bug and she did start to cry so oh, then, um, <laughs> get over yourself. So yeah. then he does the show, and Nikki Haley, who is a Republican who is going to run for president, had said, um, I think that there should be uh, some type of mental competency test for people running for president over 75. Already, over 75, which I'm sorry, I totally agree. I, I was the same way 20 years ago about people as they get older, having to take their licenses and all that type of stuff for driving. I just think so. But anyway, okay, could be something. And he's probably not a fan of hers to begin with, but he went on to say, well, you're not in your prime as 51. And he kept doubling down. And the two women are like, do you mean to give childbirth? Because that would make sense, Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And he goes, no, just any kind of prime. Like, Google it, Google it, Google it. Every only a woman is in her prime in her twenties, thirties, maybe her forties, but <laughs> in her fifties, she's not in her prime. So he, she can't talk about them being in her prime when she's clearly not in her prime. And they're like, and they kept being like, are, "Wait, are you sure?" Well, lucky me, I'm still, uh, I'm barely making it at forty. The one girl goes, and he goes, "Hey, I didn't write Google." Like, fuck, I'm. Like, what are you talking about? Google? Like, it was so <laughs> weird. So they get upset. Everyone freaks out, and then he does an apology while he's. Um, in Mexico with his boyfriend, which was pre-scheduled. <laughs> yeah. And he does one. He goes, hey, look, I'm sorry to the staff or whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry if I said something, you know, like, I'm sorry, whatever, if I hurt you. But, like, um, all my best friends are girls. And I'm friends with all these female journalists. Not so that I, old chestnut. So I can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Don. So he's Red like, so I Don. can't be sexist if I have friends that are women. Totally. I mean, I, I'm surprised he didn't go, hey, I'm a gay man, so I can't be anti-feminist. I don't, but he didn't say that. He just said, I'm friends with, and they're like, that's as bad as saying, like, I had a black friend in kindergarten, so I right. can't be racist. It was up there with that. Yeah. Yep. People are calling for him to be fired. Other people are saying, I don't think he needs to be fired. Nobody's watching the show anyway. He probably so already cares. feels fired because yeah. he got moved so, from primetime to the morning. I don't know if anyone also saw his, when he left his, he had a primetime show at 10 p.m. on CNN every night for four years. Now, Don Lemon is also someone who talks about himself as Don Lemon. Okay. So let's just start there. <laughs> you mean he says Don, Don Lemon likes? Yes, and he also because I watched his 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 outro of his own self to his show, and he had to move. He he basically acted like from Don Lemon Tonight. He was like, "It's been an amazing four years of Don Lemon Tonight. Don Lemon has been." It's like so his he show did kind of end though. He yeah, because the show ended. Also, you know, this is live, okay? And I do think that. Things come out about people that are through and that w- that is the way they really feel. Yeah. And the thing that pops in, this is how he really feels about yeah. women. And um, for all the reasons we've said, and it reminds me of when Kelly Osbourne said, 
well, Donald Trump, if you're not going to allow any immigrants into this country, or she said Mexicans, I think, who's going to clean your toilet? <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> I, I know. That was on the worst moment. Of, I don't remember I that. I think that was the, and I'm sorry, Kelly Osborne, I know you're a mom and you probably are pissed and reminding everybody, but it was the worst. I think it was the worst moment of a live TV talk show host person to say that because she's like, well, no, of course I don't mean that. I'm like, yeah, you do. And you, your perspective is of that because you were a rich person who grew up in Beverly mm -hmm. Hills mm -hmm. around rock stars mm -hmm. who was on a TV show and your perception is that. And, it came out. Yep. Yep. And I think that he thinks that those two women are in their careers are beneath him. And if women were not in their quote unquote prime in their 20s, 30s, and 40s, he wouldn't be sitting there with two numb nuts. He'd mm. be sitting there with a woman his same age, but he wasn't. He was put to it and he'd have someone who's equal, who's a peer, who's been in the industry that long. And he wasn't sitting with them. He was sitting with two women who are much, much younger than him. And Caitlin Collins isn't even in her 40s yet. Tucker Carlson did a full segment on this. And every single time he said his name, called him Don Limon. <laughs> Don Limon, okay? And I couldn't take it. I was like, this is so funny. And then he's like saying, look at Don Limon. He's so fabulous. And he's showing, he's so sassy. And he's showing all these pictures of him like shirtless and calling him sassy and fabulous. Well, it, it reminds <laughs> me of what Dave, Dave uh, Chappelle, when he talked about uh, juicy... He called him Juicy instead of Jesse Smollett. He called him uh, Juicy Smollett. <laughs> Do you know this guy, Juicy Smollett? <laughs> Speaking of which, that was another thing Don got in trouble with. Drop dot four. Oh, that's he, right. He tipped off Juicy Smollett. Yeah, that's that right. They were on to his fake. Uh, that's right. His fake kidnapping or attack or whatever. Well, we'll see what happens. But um, I don't think he's going to get fired. But I have but... always said, listen, you can't always have the ideal age for when the time the person gets into the presidency. But for me, I've always felt the ideal age is like about 47 to about 65. I don't think we should kill them like that movie when you die at 30, Logan's Run. I don't think it should be that. If you're good, you can continue. But ideally, yeah, that is. So that was what's so weird when he was saying the prime because it was clearly sexist because he wasn't because anyone would agree a prime age for being a president really really is the 50s, if it can work out that way. Okay, have you heard about the South Park video, the the episode? We did see a tweet by our good friend, <laughs> Megan McCain, on it. But I haven't watched it yet. But Shout out, Megan. Shout out, Megs. Hey, girl, we know she listens. Oh, she came to my show in D.C., Oh, oh my God! How yeah. did, she, did you get to see the? No, she couldn't bring the babies. No, was she like, wasn't. She was obviously she. You no, know, there was a baby inside oh, of the her. second one. I think that baby was born <laughs> on my birthday, Clover. Okay. And nice. anyway, um, this is a pretty <laughs> funny video, a pretty funny clip from South Park. And it's just about how they are just keep saying, like, stop looking at us. We want privacy. <laughs> and they have, like, this big thing on their house. Oh God, Leave us alone. <laughs> That's and, amazing. And it's very, very funny. That's but a, 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 according to the news or whatever, I don't care <laughs> remember who said it, that their attorneys are, are looking with a fine tooth <gasps> to see if they have some... Um, like a can go after South yeah. Park. Like Tom and I'm like, Tom I am no. not, and I'm, oh, no. I believe me, <laughs> no. South Park, they they did nothing wrong. I can't imagine that their team of lawyers did not go over this a billion yeah. times as they do every controversial thing they do. I personally think it's hilarious. You're a public figure and everything they're saying is it. And if you're huge fans of them and you found it sad, well, don't watch South Park. Everyone else thought it was funny, though. Did Tom oh. Cruise ever get his taken down? Because he was the one who really... Oh, because he was the, the one in the closet. Yeah. yeah, he really wanted that off of there. And I don't think he could even... I feel like some of it did get yeah. removed. They like, put Kim to... I mean... Okay. Yeah, what I mean, they made Bono. You know, he was like, uh, sitting shit. on a pile of his own shit, <laughs> of his own duty. You know what I mean? He like shit a, a huge, the biggest pile of shit that anyone's ever made. Because he's so full. Because he's so full of shit. I mean, you can't. If you are going over, <laughs> you can't. You and here we go. Okay, here's the Don Lemon of <laughs> Megan and Harry. Like, you can't go after South Park. Uh, you can't go after South Park. That shows how well that's shitty like, you are. Go on back to England because this uh, is what uh, we're doing here. What no. I've always said is uh, uh, that they, neither of them have any sense of humor. Clearly, they just are so not funny. And good luck to that. God. It, um, so Meghan Markle's sister Samantha. She has, uh, you know, filed a lawsuit. She's asking for seven fifty, seven hundred fifty thousand dollars oh defamation, saying that in the interview uh, that that the, they did with Oprah, 
<laughs> there were so many lies. There were 38 lies or something mm. about her living like a life as a pauper or whatever, as a poor girl, <laughs> and all these other things that they, they have. She has proven a lot of them to be lies, but um, mm. I don't think that it's really defamation because the only thing she said about her sister is, at one point, the sister's last name wasn't Markle, and then she changed it back to Markle. And I guess that wasn't true. It was always Markle because they share the same dad, whatever. But she's, the reason she is trying to sue is saying, because of this, she's gotten all this hate, whatever. And, of course, they're asking for everything, and the Markle team just keeps, like, denying no, no, and they're asking for it to be dismissed. They're going to win. Meg Meghan Markle's going to win this one against Samantha, but not against South Park. That's my prediction. Good. Isn't the Markle family constantly, isn't her dad like a grifter or something? No, the dad is like awesome. And they found oh. a blog when she used to have her post, the TIG or the TWIG or what was her post? <laughs> she had a, a thing back when she was, before she met Harry. Harry, it all got removed, but people somehow have drug it up and found it. And she did a beautiful post on Father's Day to the TIG. How a beautiful post on Father's Day about everything they did together and how great he was and um he was a set designer and how much he did for her school and how wonderful mm. he was and how he helped with pay for her, like this whole thing but then oh. he wasn't invited to the wedding right right and so everyone thinks because yeah she just didn't want it was one of the okay i'm gonna say this which because i've been studying and i'm not saying she's a con <laughs> woman don't sue me okay but sometimes when people let's say rewrite their stories Mm -hmm. rewrite their past yes something that they want to avoid is people from the past mm. coming together in a room yeah and comparing notes and being like so then you were her roommate mm. you were no i was never her roommate she had a beautiful apartment by herself that her dad paid for <laughs> but she said she lived with three roommates in, the, in an attic wait that's so weird in sarajevo <laughs> yeah that's ding 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 we'd like to make a toast everyone to, the, to my groom h <laughs> like yeah so sometimes when you go to someone's wedding and you go it was really weird my my sister's husband there was no one from his side there <laughs> nobody like that's kind of where people thought right is something going on or was she just like, I just want Oprah there instead, and I just want all my rich friends here there instead, and whatever, I'm becoming the prince. And, you know, Samantha didn't come to her first wedding, and then the whole thing with the dad was in Mexico, and he had a heart attack, and my intention was to always have him there, but then all this stuff happened days before the wedding, and he was embarrassed. And so I think there's a lot to it. People... Um, you know, don't like that I keep talking about her, but other people say, bring it on, Heather. So mm. whatever. I think okay. this is juicy. Ja Julie definitely got like some some clap back when she called her like a thirst bucket last time, like a few times ago. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I do think she is. I'm sorry. 100% she and is. I think and clearly I'm South Park totally agrees. down with South Park. <laughs> yeah. Like, respect our privacy while you watch our docu-series. Read my book. <laughs> Go Do, on every interview. The written out podcast. <clears throat> yeah, that the sounds podcast. Like an which, exactly. Like it just. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not really here for for them. No. I wish. Um, I was, however, but. Lisa Renna does said, "Oh, I'd love to see Meghan Markle or Chrissy Teigen take my spot." <laughs> um, Rebel Wilson announced she's engaged. First, I thought they got married, but I guess they just got engaged. Rebel Wilson and her. Her now fiance, she also has. They also have a kid. So I guess they did what? it at Disneyland. I thought this was a wedding. They said it was. We said yes. So uh, I like those little sweatshirt sweaters, things yeah, they're wearing. Cute. I think they are cute. Very I mean, cute. They, they do look cute. Um, wow, jeez. And then she also. Well, first let's talk about that. How do you feel about people who get engaged or married at Disneyland? So basically, they set up those <laughs> pillars put huge wedding bouquets oh, yeah. on the sides. And Just then, imagine the assistant walking yeah. through oh, all through God. Anaheim. <laughs> like how long that is. Like, oh, God, Rebel's, Rebel's going to freak out if this isn't right. They've got like a production like tray, like one of those yeah, nobody, rolling nobody, things. Nobody. Some, like, some, little, some, little, some little girl with a churro came too close to their photo yeah. shoot. And they're like, get away. Like, get, get out of here. We're about to get engaged. We're lesbians now. We're lesbians yeah. now. Get out of here. Two get princesses <laughs> can get married. Did you know that? Two and then they threw white rose married. petals to really give it the effect oh, they really of, of a wedding. Or they added that, com like, computer generated it. But yep. it looks like the le one yeah. lesbian's really looking at them. So, <laughs> I mean, I like the background. If you're going to do that, 
Maybe dress like Ooh. the princess and the prince, or two mm. princes, or two princes, we whatever. Be comfortable. Yeah, you're a little too casual for what you did yeah. on the sides. It's more like Alice in Wonderland, like what they're wearing um, stripes. Now, I want to point the most yes. important thing about yes. this picture yes. Paris Hilton, Kathy Hilton. First two comments, dying. <laughs> Of course. No, I would shit my... I'll become a lesbian the, and get married just for that. They weren't the first two. They were just raised to the top because they're checkmarked. Oh. 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 They know Annie. who Annie likes. <laughs> they know who Annie likes. Oh, my God. That is... I'm dying over that. But, like... I had, that's a, very, I had a video go viral on TikTok when I got engaged at Disneyland in front of the Star Wars thing. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. My friend Colin, he's a juicy scooper who works there. <laughs> and he kind of met us there. Mm. And I said, oh, um, let's do a fi I at first asked my sons to, to do the fake engagement, and they said no. So then I took off my ring, and Colin said he would. Oh. And Colin is a out gay man mm. and okay. has been living – a gay life for I think a long time <laughs> and um, so when we did it the people around 100% were like down for us I had a baseball hat I mean, clearly, no one was like thinking it was a mill for a cougar situation. They just thought I think we were two dorks mm. that were yeah. getting engaged. So it was like, <laughs> and then, but he was like, and all <laughs> these like, people, oh, poor girl, she's marrying a gay guy. <laughs> Everybody, the, the ones that went viral was the ones that were the stitch. Where like these guys would be like, then it would cut to the guy be like, um, is no one going to tell her? <laughs> And then there'd be a few people like, no, she's a comedian, da 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 da. But also, I was like, first of all, I was kind of happy that people thought I was young enough to marry this gay guy, regardless. Yeah. And other, and but other, I was like, oh, God, but people really don't know who I am, but that's okay. <laughs> I like this journey for you, for like, especially since in uh, in renewing your vows with Peter. Yes. Since that is a trope that we must do in every show. Yes. I think we need to renew our vows with this whole situation. <laughs> at Disneyland and okay. do all this. I want the flowers. I want the thing. You can do pictures in all different areas of you re-saying I do, redoing your vows. You guys could be wearing like prince and princesses outfits. Someone could come up. You could ears. say, don't do this at my vow renewal. Yes. Please yes. don't talk about this at my vow renewal. We could like get, try and get in a fight wives. with you and yeah. be like, you guys stop ruining my vow renewal. And then, you know what yeah. I mean? I, Not here. <laughs> was Colin in his, was he currently at work? Mm. Uh, no, I think he was, no, it was like his day off that, okay. so, but he could meet us there and kind of like help us, you know, maybe Why get did you some choose? Lines. I like that with your baseball hat, you chose to do in front of Star Wars. You were just like, <laughs> oh, because I, because I had just seen someone do it there and I felt it was extra dorky. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, it is extra dorky. It is. Yeah. 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 It's very cosplay like yeah. Very cosplay like Although yeah. it all is, but. Yeah. I mean, I just, in general, I'm going to say about Rebel Wilson in this, it's a lot she's bringing the utmost to the table for every single thing she's doing. She lost a ton of weight, then becomes a lesbian, then gets married, <laughs> then does it in front of... She and got a they baby. have a kid. She got a baby. Like, that's a well, lot. Well, she now says that Pitch Perfect contract dictated her weight for years. Oh, sure. Oh, she, she never would have... Weight. Oh, she had to stay fat. And all I'm going to say is... <laughs> that's what you do to me, Heather. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Julie, we signed an NDA. I, I'm sorry. Bye. I need Annie everyone too. to know that I Heather will. McDonald is keeping me fat. <laughs> Since you asked, I did I did bring up the Juicy Scoop contract. Okay, go. Oh, great. <laughs> in which it reads, as a guest, as a reoccurring guest on Juicy Scoop, I will maintain my appearance and not alter it in any way with extreme body changes, plastic surgery, haircuts, or face tattoos. And you guys have signed that. I'm sorry, okay? I need to lose weight. I'm about to get diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> and I need to lose weight, Heather. No, I, I want a baby and I want to become a lesbian. As someone in the business, what I believe the contract said is she signed a contract with an option of sequels. And in that sequels, it probably said not altering your appearance. And yeah. I think they said like plastic surgery, same thing would go if you did a right. Jennifer Grey nose job. Um, and in it, they probably didn't say weight. They probably didn't say... Like the way it did with um, Lucy and Ethel, where Ethel said she always had to be 10 pounds thinner than Lucy. Fatter. And that was lit. Oh, 10 pounds fatter Heavier than, than Lucy. Her. Yeah. And that was in her contract. That's Lucy and I Ball, believe yeah. that. But I think, you know, post 2000, a contract probably just said, like, no big alterations. And her agent probably said, what this means is. Don't, yeah. 
you know, just kind of stay the way you look because we're going to have these huge paydays and you're going to want to do these movies. Right. And if for some reason you look extremely different, if, again, shaved your head, got a neck tattoo, yeah. got big lip fillers, got right. a nose job, and, and it, gain or lost 100 pounds, that would... You won't be Fat Amy anymore. And, That's your character. And you will also look like particularly, like say if somebody did a bunch of filler. If she lost weight, she, which she did, she's going to look much older. Those She was th- playing a 23-year-old yeah, or something. Yeah, those things to call yeah. place in college. So yeah. they couldn't have them doing anything that's like, whoa, you now look 40. Like they yeah. couldn't have it. They're playing to play older to play younger, all of them. Well, even right. after an audition, they tell you, if you book a part. From right. the audition to the time you get that thing, like don't don't do anything. Yeah, don't you diet. Know, don't don't do anything. anything. Yeah, and you might, you know. But I mean, <laughs> it was quite easy for her to maintain the weight. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was fine. Well, it was not a hardship. Um, mm. Ryan Seacrest is saying goodbye to Kelly Ripa. He is just going to stay in L.A. and do American Idol. And her new co-host. Finally, it took twelve people to finally get to her husband. So yeah. it's now Mark Consuelos will be her co-host. They probably were just like, let's just get the husband at this point. And let's just get the husband. He won't flake and she won't feel threatened by it. So right. let's just get the husband. Here's what I think. One, back when we used to watch The View because we do not anymore because our really good friend. Our best friend who's was, almost family now. I mean, she's, yeah, she's like a sister to us. Um, <laughs> Megan. Meg, yeah. yeah. We she, call her the Megs. When, okay. she, when yeah. she left, we couldn't. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's unwatchable. It's so. become unwatchable. Yes. Back when she was on it. No fun anymore. We were so horny for it. I would yeah. show up live. We didn't just, we didn't just do DVR. No, we'd, we'd watch, watch it. Yeah. It was appointment yeah. viewing. And so also, it was like, I, it's 1058. I also believe that's your way of procrastinating. But whatever. Go. So you did it. <laughs> yeah, yes. that's true. That is so true. we'd go and show up and Kelly and Ryan would still be on. Okay. So that was the only time that we She'd really. She'd watch the tail end. Yes. Yeah. And then be kind of into it because it would be like that funny blonde lady. Allie Wentworth. Yeah. She'd okay. be doing a cooking segment and it'd be like, and then I'd be like, am I into Ryan Seacrest now? I don't know what's going on. But. He's in pajamas. Lo- many, 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 many times. He wasn't there, and it was always Mark. Yep. Yeah. So I think, one, I mean, they'd done it a million times. I think it came down to be like, this person's going to make this money. Why not you, honey? You know? I, I think he's ready to go. He has so, so much money. And I feel like I've done this. I've done this. It was fun. Yeah. I, d- yeah. I was on national TV in the day. I had a blast. But the going back between L.A. and New York yeah. and the American Idol, and I want an easier schedule. I'm 49 years old. Yep. And doing this show for another three years is going to do nothing for my how big of a star I am, household name, and even money at this point. Yeah. I don't have any kids. Like, I don't need... Another yeah. hundred million. But I think she was like, why give this money to Andy Cohen when I can give it a back to my own self? A hundred percent. It was going to it was going to be her husband or her son. OK, uh, that's what I would do if I was Kelly at this point. I'm all about it. So and they've been together so long that there's no I would normally. I'm just, I don't the, need to hear about them fucking every day. Though. No. You know, they're going to. And they always do. They're, so they're going like, to she'll see old pictures and be like, oh, look at him. And I'm yeah. like, save it, bitch. And if, if everything's going to be this, all that. You went about like vow you. renewals. I mean, anniversaries. How many page six and people articles are going to oh. be like Kelly and Marcus Whalo just revealed that she takes it in the ass three times a year. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's go- and it's going to it's going to be a whole segment. It's going to be a segment. It's going to go fucking three times a year. <laughs> exactly. That's going to be a segment on the show. Anal morning. It's going to be a whole thing. Yeah, for they, a they're like, we need a younger audience to start watching. Hey More guys. is millennials take it up the ass. Yeah. So we're Good. going to do, we, we need you to talk about it. We need to give 30 year old yeah. moms hope that when you're 50, you could have a daytime talk show with your husband that you still bone and up the yeah. butt. Do it up the up butt. The yeah. Now, I would normally give someone the advice, don't ever do this. Don't ever do it with your best friend. Don't ever do it. You could do it, I guess, with your son, but not your your partner in any way. But they've now been together as long as Listen, Jesus has been dead. So. I have said this over and over. I don't think there is an easier job on television no. than to be a morning daytime talk show host that's just like light interviews not mm-hmm. oprah-esque where you're like sitting down with the world's first hoarder like yeah. she did <laughs> i'm talking that'd be just for you too fun stuff fun stuff a, oh. a movie star for seven minutes yeah it is not Amazing. difficult there is not high stakes it doesn't matter playing a dumb game when they call up like oh. what was kelly eating uh, yep. in 2007 yeah meatballs yeah we make them yeah it'll or be whatever. fine you could you know what i mean <laughs> i will say that julie another time 
when the lesbian mafia uh, got a hold of her and she needed to come up to me yeah. out of nowhere when I was minding my own business with her phone and go, do you know who this is? <laughs> oh. And I was like, this is a couple days ago. And I was like this. I mean, I, 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 and then I kept staring and staring and I'm like, if she knows who it is, I must know. And I, when I tell you it took me five minutes and it was Mark fucking Consuelos. He was unrecognizable, Heather. Why? I don't know if it was his hair it was what? like a waxen statue <laughs> that had had its face blown off. I mean, it just was the makeup, maybe. maybe. I don't know. Could have been the makeup. Could have been the hair dye. Whatever he's tuning up for okay. the show. He's All tuning right. It up. was. I. I mean, it was a little. I was shocked. Okay. Yeah. It was a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're little people. They are. They're little. They're, li- <laughs> they're little. They are little people. <laughs> they are very they little, are people little people that fit. In, that will be able to fit. In there. They have to climb up those giant yeah. chairs. You're yeah. right. And they fit perfectly together as two littles. The You're coffee right. mugs two look littles. like soup bowls. Like yeah. yes. Yeah. Like we fuck up the ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Every three weeks. Sometimes Mac puts it in the front to the back, but we've learned how to do and it right. We, we gotta make sure that we put away all our dildos and lubes before our kids come home from college. Can you relate to that? <laughs> We never want them to walk in while we're doing it. It's too <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> they go, why is daddy on top of... Wait, who... Why is... Mom, we don't know on which one's that. which. <laughs> who can relate? Mm. Oh, well, we have a story from the weekends in the Hamptons, you guys. Wait, let's just... I'm going to be Kelly. <laughs> and you're going to do Mark. Okay. And we're going to do the top of the show. Woo! Hello! <laughs> well... Mark, I don't know where to start, but Mark and I, uh, the kids were home from <laughs> for the long weekend, and we were in the Hamptons, and I had a little too much rosé in the day. You sure did. <laughs> and, you know, uh, us, you know, Mark was looking good. He was looking You, you were, were looking, looking good, good, too, baby. You, looking and you I'm look like, so good right now. And I threw in some baked potatoes for the mm. clam bake. <laughs> and I said, Mark, mm-hmm. we've got about... 20 minutes before I need to take out these Yeah, ovens. that's right. <laughs> and I'm like, let's just, you know, get up. And now the dog likes to watch us I do our that. thing. I hate it when the dog's there. So I said, we put the dog in the closet. Room. <laughs> oh, right. Well, um, our daughter comes home and she's like, let's the dog out. And I'm about to climax. Can I say that? I'm about <laughs> to climax. And I hear the dog howling because he knows when I'm about to climax because we do it so often. I know, but I, and what's funny is I never do. <laughs> It's weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing it right. I don't even know. I don't even know where I am. <laughs> oh, oh. Anyway, she walks in. My leg is by my head. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Mark's, uh, you know, and then we go, what? Mark's what was that? And I didn't know if it was the dog. I didn't know which kid it was. We come down. I'm doing the baked potatoes. And she's like, so when did dad start tanning nude mom and I go how did you know that it's because she saw his bare ass and there was no tanning line and let me just tell you that clam bake was like no other clam bake <laughs> you we're audience. gonna be right back and we're gonna find out who's gonna win a trip to Florida <laughs> <laughs> that that is going to be it's exactly how it's gonna be to a T yeah I mean I it's can't. going to be every single day like that I will never be invited on, obviously, after this. <laughs> anyway, he's got a girlfriend, Ryan Seacrest, who's 24 or 5. He's 49. Mm. It's another 25-year age difference that obviously works until... He comes out. Or you're... Sorry. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Edit. Whoops. Annie, tell us how you love anal sex since you're a millennial. I mean, a zillennial. <laughs> I had to say that in the moment just for you. <laughs> With, now, you're not going to really say, Heather, and we should, in fact take all of the Kelly Ripa stuff out because none of us want Kelly Ripa to like us. Oh, we are not taking okay. the Kelly Ripa stuff <laughs> but out. Do you think, Said with love. We think that Ryan Seacrest, I mean, at this point, I do think he's he's boning down with these young girls. I mean, they are gorgeous. Yeah. He takes them off to Cabo and they're in like the tiniest string bikinis and they look gorgeous. But, I mean, we know that he never, he didn't even sleep in the same room with old Juliana Huff because he said like, the dogs are too annoying he on the bed. He wasn't into Juliana Huff. I, you know what? I sat... Behind them or in front of him at Kim's second wedding to Chris Humphreys. Oh. And she was talking about something about what she wanted for her wedding or whatever. And he looked at me and he went, oh <laughs> and so they broke up. So I just don't think he was that into her. He has had serious girlfriends. I think he's one of those guys that 
his love and life, he did not have to settle down. He doesn't have a biological clock. And just like Andy Cohen, he can have a baby whenever the hell he wants. So I bet they probably get married. He's you probably, do? Really? Yeah, I think he's probably going to get married and have a kid now and do the hosting stuff in L.A. and just have a little simpler life for the next 20 years. Do you like his George Clooney last half of life? thing where he finally settles down settles down i thought yeah. you meant like he was going to do like un stuff no no no, no. That, i mean but, finally yeah. settles down and yeah, then has of. kids yeah after he i think he has had long-term girlfriends so i think he kind of likes a long-term situation but i just think he's never really been in love and and like they said in the in one of the sex of city episodes i recently saw the guy gets married when he decides to get married it doesn't nest it's not always about the woman Mm, it's not always ever. about the woman yeah or yeah. ever it's just sometimes like I think this is the time because mm -hmm. he's probably probably ever girl he's dated is probably really great and fabulous and would have made like a great partner but now he's just ready to do it yeah I mean I think Julianne Huff is she's annoying but I think she's so pretty and yeah, but sexy yeah but she wouldn't have been a good match and she's no, bisexual no, no. or asexual but, you, but so is he you don't think he's well, bisexual we don't know. Yeah. I, I don't okay. know well, there I has do. not been one person has come out and been like, here's the receipts. I met him at this place. There isn't. That's so true. I don't really believe it's true. He just gives me wild Todd Chrisley energy. Mm. Yeah. Not as, as extreme, flamboyant. but yeah, he does. Well, Said Amy, love as well. I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Amy and TJ, they took uh. their money and they ran to Mexico <laughs> and they're having a great trip. And they will, oh. like I said, they haven't announced it yet, but. Looking forward to the iHeart podcast. <laughs> Amy and TJ. Doing in the butt. Truth be told. Oh, that's oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. And like, it's truth about everything. It's about hot topics, about this, about that. La, la. We might even talk about housewives. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's what's going Like notes be. from the inside. Yeah. Um, I'm so sick of oh, Megan Fox. God. So uh. Megan Fox, the ultimate thirst trap. Move over. Megan Markle. There's a there's a thirstier <laughs> Megan. It is Megan Fox. It's been her for about five years, especially since she got with Megan with uh, Machine Gun Kelly. She did a whole thing right before Super Bowl. <laughs> it does look like Megan Kelly. Post <laughs> posting. <laughs> did I say Megan Kelly? No, I, was, I don't know where did I Mich hear that? Did I, say, yeah. I say Megan Kelly all the time. Megan Fox with Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah, you heard right. Megan. And oh, Machine she will Gun be Megan Kelly, Kelly yeah. if they ever get married, which they never will. Yeah, she'll be Megan so, Gun Kelly. So she he, did okay. this big, all these cryptic posts. We're broken up. People assuming it might be this pretty girl that is a guitar player with him. The guitar player is like, nothing happened. I'm really offended that this is going on. I have a boyfriend, this or that. Mm. Then she does a long post and was like, um, everybody just needs to leave us alone and shut down these rumors and stop talking about it. And they're like, bitch, you started the rumor. <laughs> yeah. You, you took him off of every single photo of your Instagram, did this thing about God. being cheated on or something. Yep. So annoying. I'm so done with these two. And I, the only person I feel sorry for is Brian Austin Green, that he has to deal with her and <laughs> the, their three the kids. The cryptic Instagram, you know, Beyonce quote is so fucking 10 years ago. Like, Stop just with save the cryptic it. post. Yeah. And it's a quote and from I'll, a song oh. that we're all deciphering. And it's like, no, just no. Just all of it, no. It's all, it. the whole thing from start to finish was derivative. They were co copying Courtney and Travis, tonguing down on the red carpet. It was just like, get some new material or make some I up. just feel like one day I just might do like a social experience experiment just to actually know how popular or truly unpopular I am. Mm. And just like, <laughs> take, just like take off my wedding ring and take some photo and go... And it's like still the nail polish I've worn for two years. And then just been like <laughs> making some real changes. Yes. Can't say I don't hate the way my hand looks. Mm, just what that's it. What about the hand? And then someone being like, wait, is could that be your left hand? Did she file for divorce against Peter? And just start like a thing and yes. then yeah. just be like, then and then just be walking, doing, and then it's just like some music, like, I'm on my own, like find some yeah. country song. <laughs> yeah. And just like, why is Heather just like throw, what are these cryptic posts yes. about her? When you and say, then I'll be uh, like, why are you guys freaking out? Like, I got some new hand lotion. <laughs> God, you weirdos. Get a light. When you say Leave unpopular, do you mean with your own fans or with men? coming after you like you would find out how unpopular you are oh no i just meant like people wouldn't notice okay what i'm getting at well you <laughs> did try and do you did pull a full thing that me and julie both fell for what? where you 
said you were taking a social media break. And we were yeah. like, Heather, yeah. are you okay, Heather? <laughs> it was like, you, you like... Yeah. Oh, I wrote a long thing, but then I was like... For till tomorrow or something. It, oh. You never, but no. it was anybody oh. would know that you were in a was you were copying like the oh, Alec Baldwin's wife with the fifty kids or whatever. Yeah. But Julie and I, hook line and sinker, were like Heather, what's going on with you? Are you okay? You're gonna take a social media break. We were like worried, mm. and you're like, no, bitch. I just that was t- it's a joke. Yeah, yeah you know what? Next joke. time I have to do a physical or get a blood test, I'm also gonna do that. Just yeah, just the needle in my arm. <laughs> Hashtag hopes. Yeah, and then just be like, uh oh. I just only asking for your prayers. Just not <laughs> oh, no. just not cancer. <laughs> Ugh, I mean <laughs> really. Oh, yeah, so all annoying. of the Okay, wait, so this is important. Jen and Ben got no, matching Jamie. tattoos. It's two arrows with a J and a B in between. People were like saying this was a very outdated tattoo that was popular that someone did like years ago. I wouldn't know. Mm. Well, Why you, you know who it? did it? Julie and I. We have those tattoos. The same way Meghan Markle and uh, Harry copied yeah, you right. and Peter. Yep. They saw that Julie and I got those in 2008, the J&B right. with the crossed arrows. Wow. And now they got it. And that's why everybody knows it's outdated because it, right. it is, quite frankly. And then we, we basically covered them because... Oh, okay. well, because they were dated. You know, there is a thing that you can now get these tattoos and they fade within three years. Really? Oh, that's cool. Yes. Oh, that is cool. Yes. And so I... Oh, my I, God, there's so many a, I'm going to get. I mean, that's also the time... But also, if it's about especially putting someone's name on it... Yeah. You chances are they won't be around in three years. Right. So this is... But, um, yeah, put, she did it right here, you know, because yeah. God's still good. And That looks like that's in his somewhere. armpit. I think it's right here. Remember, oh. he has the horrible falcon on his back. Oof, well, he put, he put her initial on top. Um, that must be his because like those bumps are like that's and a, the hair cause that's because they just shaved his hair I see oh, okay. full and hair fresh and okay. red All long right. hair yeah. um, but Julie do you think we'll get the tattoos the J&B tattoos again totally. same ones yeah they... and I'm gonna put that one right here as yeah. well well I'm, I'm definitely not gonna put yeah. that one here the, well where are you go- oh, okay, uh, tattoo well. experts say you should not put someone mm-hmm. else's name on you unless you've been together for at least 18 months <laughs> I was I was told 18 months 18 years 18 months 18 months <laughs> okay and so, but technically they it's more like 20 years or whatever because they were engaged before. And and then, um, but I uh, I remember someone said, the best advice I ever got is don't ever tattoo anyone's name on you that's still alive because a dead person won't disappoint you. Mm. Um, I think, Profound. I think wow. it is. And I think he kind of followed that because what he thought in his own mind was, well, I'll just say it's Jen Garner, <laughs> the mother of my kids. That's what I'll do. I'll just say it's for the other Jen. Yeah, it really works out. Speaking of the other Jen, what a segue. Jen Shaw, or Jen Shaw. Real Housewives of Salt Lake. She went to prison and she got three new tattoos. I'm going to get that tattoo put it on. Just her face? <laughs> that actual picture. Oh. She had some big Kalikawa or whatever saying, because she's like from the Hawaii, some Hawaiian island. And then she had her three, her husband and her two boys' names going across her arm. So she got that tattoo and she... Checked in. She went in with like chola eyebrows on, her new (laughs) tats, and she's like, don't fuck with a babysitter, okay? I'm here. I don't need any like, I'll put rocks in a sock and I'll do up a shiv and I don't want to be I mean, she will fuck a bitch up. Let's not, let's let's be clear about that. I mean, I wouldn't want to mess with her. Um, Bad Mormon, her book is out. Mm. And I had the most incredible thing happen today. What? What's Jacob's last name? Havlick. Jacob Havlick. Okay. He presented a full book report. He <laughs> he wrote he wrote book report by Juicy Scoop field reporter Jacob Havlick. Subject of the other of of the Heather McDonald Megan King Edmonds School of Detective Work for the Greater Christian Good. <laughs> bad Mormon is broken into five sections: bad daughter, bad missionary, bad wife, bad Mormon, badass. Below, I will discuss each section and chapter with. Within each, highlighting no, n- notable um, quotes and moments from those within. So I went through, and it is extremely boring. <laughs> oh. Annie basically had Jacob. She paid Jacob fifty bucks to do the book. I report did not for her. ask her to do the book report. <laughs> he just offered. I did say, I did say, can someone do a book report? Because I don't want to read it. And is there anything juicy? Annie there, will probably took his email it. down and was like, everything she has to do that's hard. She's like, Jacob, yo, Heather was. It sounds like Jacob to- really knew very little about. Mormonism. She said, I don't don't use the word Mormonism. Basically, she was pretty hardcore in the Mormon religion. So she went through this whole temple thing where 
you get baptized at eight because that's when you know what's right or wrong. When they can marry you off. <laughs> then, <laughs> then she like did some missionary, um, mm -hmm. kissed a boy once that then turned out to be dating her friend. I mean, literally there's nothing. One time she pretended she was a robot and used scissors as her hands and almost cut part of the curtain and got in trouble from her parents. I'm telling you, these are the things, these are the stories she's wrote. I fell asleep for a right, second. Tell I'm sorry, she, <laughs> she did an Edward Scissorhands moment I, as a child. Yeah. Curtains. I thought she was going to say she almost cut someone's dick off, but no, it was curtains. Yeah, and then um, she was a little heavy at 12 and her dad would wake her at 5.30 and tell her to take walks with him. And, and, yeah, because then they needed to mar uh, marry her they, off. You they know what they I mean? said if you lost some weight, more, A man know, will like you. Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. then um, when she was going through her final temple thing, which um, we thought from the book that that's where we'd hear what the juicy secrets were. Yeah, what course. is the secret that you find out? Like in Scientology, it's like the aliens or whatever. <laughs> and she's, you know, and her mom said, make sure you have mints. Make sure you have mints when you go to the celestial temple and you pass over to being like the top Mormon. And it was because... I guess whatever head Mormon guy you talk really close to his face. Of course. And she so wanted her to, you it. know, have a nice fresh breath for the man. Anyway, we never find out what the secret stuff is. We find out about the secret underwear. Then she meets her husband who, when she moves to Huntington Beach, she meets him and he's rich. He takes her to Hawaii. She realizes he's really rich. And so she's like, this sounds good. So they get married. And um, three and a half months later, they have sex. And that's when they both have sex, but they're actually bored and have nothing in common. She has three kids right away. She also has gets a Porsche. She tries mm. to be, she did a little jewelry line in college that was at Nordstrom's for a minute. She started doing boudoir photography. And she took, was the photographer? Yeah, and did it for Whitney Rose. Oh, that's that tracks. And, um, and then she was doing social media for this guy who had a med spa. And that's how she ended up with the beauty lab. <laughs> Ugh. And then she gets divorced because he because when one daughter was getting uh, having her baptism, she's like the baptism at two, and he goes, "Well, can we do it at three or something?" Because I want my family to be there. And she's like, "No, I'm not changing the time." He goes, "Well, then we're getting divorced." And they did. They got divorced. <laughs> and, <laughs> That's the best part of the whole yeah, thing. Yeah. I mean, and then uh, and then <laughs> even the divorce she was barely born, yeah. talks about housewives, and then. And then that's it. Then she talked about how she, they approached her for the show, and she got the show, and that's it. No mention. So she and, sounds like a good Mormon. And actually. she ends it with in right. the name of the Father, the Son, and Andy Cohen, which is uh, also kind of that's just, that's pretty bad. Is uh, Andy Cohen to Jesus Christ or whatever? Especially when they clearly would not allow her to put housewives in the book at all, because then they would have been in there or something. They probably asked her not to. I'm going to say something that a lot of people are going to be like, "Wow, Heather, profound." <laughs> <laughs> not everybody has juicy stories in their life to tell. And not any and even if you do, some people are horrible storytellers. Some people can't do a podcast. They're just not interesting. Okay. We get it. <laughs> <laughs> All no, but right. that's it. She just I just don't think she has no. it's just not very juicy. She, well but I also that are get, juicy she's not talking she's about she's hiding it. Right. And she's hiding every single she, thing. Yeah, and she even Sorry. said in a thing, oh, I'm being sued by the Mormon church, whatever. For what? For what? There was nothing in here. Well, I got a you... weird impression about her dad waking her up at 5.30 in the morning, and then I got I, – didn't she have to go through the temple at 8 and put a mint in so that a grown man could lean almost into kissing <laughs> distance and then, what, recite Mormon John Smith Bible verses I mean, there was, it Joe sounds Smith, like there's like Joseph weird Smith. stuff, but nothing <laughs> – I mean, she wasn't molested. Nothing bad happened. She well, wasn't married off. There's no way that you sure. can say bad Mormon. At least, you know, I, I, and we don't know. This is whatever. But if you were a missionary, that means you were in a different state or country. There has to be shit that happened w and went down there. There has to be. You're telling yeah. me that in the whole time that you were a missionary, that you were trying to convert also, people? Also, you know there's what? There's nothing you have to say? Speaking of Megan McCain, I don't like that her book was called Bad Republican. And then she came up with hers later, Bad Mormon. Oh. Megs, <laughs> you better Get call it. her. She can't Doesn't be stealing matter. It's from not you. a hit. It's not a hit. Who cares? <laughs> I, well, um, what a, but to me, it seems like she's actually, in fact, a good Mormon. And yeah. Left when she, she got didn't do left. when she got to be a bad Mormon was with housewives. Was with house, and then right. she didn't talk about any of that. Right. No, she didn't talk. Oh, no. she said one night she went out with Jen Shaw, and Jen Shaw took her on a crazy night at Tao in a nightclub, and she did take someone home and, and screwed him, I guess. But. Um, but that, you know, Jen Shaw paid for that big night. Well, maybe in the big book, fun and we night. don't know. And she said she was a lot of fun. Mm. Well, yeah, because she was using some old person's credit card, a towel. <laughs> well, Justin <laughs> needs to tell us. 
<laughs> is it Jason or Justin? Who did the book report? It was Jacob. Oh, Jacob. Yeah. Jacob, sorry. It wasn't Jake, Justin. Not Justin or J- Jeremy. Yeah. yeah. Jacob uh, maybe needs to tell you if maybe she goes into depth, if she comments on- She doesn't. Uh, she Nothing. Nothing. I read the whole book report. It's 10 pages. She does not. There's nothing. There's I nothing. I read the That's whole book report. Point. It's ten pages. I, I, I was <laughs> like, I read the book report. It's ten whole pages. I know. I, I feel. I feel like Sutton reading the LA Times yeah. article. No, but listen. I think that I don't blame anyone for having someone approach them and say, "Would you like a book deal? No. Let's tell your story. Here's a ghostwriter to help you. Let's get it done. You're on a TV show. Of course, you're not going to turn it down, or of course, you're not going to say, you know what? I might be more interesting in like five years, but it's it's done now. Who cares? Um, so what? Who cares? Everyone loves it when so I say what? that. Who cares? Um, Meredith had a crazy night. According oh, to Page nah. Six, Meredith. I didn't even know who that was. I, uh, I thought I we thought it was. Know who that was. Could have been Jen Garner. That's who Julie thinks she looks like. Yeah, in she does. Face. Meredith. <laughs> Meredith Marks took a tumble while dancing to ABBA's "Dancing Queen" oh, no. while out at a lesbian bar <laughs> with Sam Smith. I'm going to sue ABBA now. They abused Scarlett. Me. Took a tumble while dancing to ABBA <laughs> at a lesbian bar. Yeah, like quit brutalizing You're my brutalizing family. You're brutalizing my family. <laughs> like just, I brutalized myself on the dance stop floor. Stop brutalizing the gay club. Stop yeah. brutalizing <laughs> so Sam there Smith. There she goes. Um, some drama happened over the weekend with the uh, Real Housewives. Oh no, it's pretty juicy. Uh, there oh, was a no. video that that was Joe Gorga happened to run into. <sighs> Joe Judice in the Bahamas, which is a place that I guess Joe Judice, because it's not America, yeah. can travel to, mm. r- saw him and someone filmed it, them hugging, embracing, and, great. and posted it. Okay? People were mad? Well. Oh, my God. I love that. We so missed Juicy Joe. They posted oh God, it. Look at, look and then him. Joe Gorga wrote, both walked into the same bar at the same time. A lot of history there. We have memories since we were kids. I'm happy. He's doing well and looks good. We are both happy to see each other and catch up. Glad some glad someone caught it. Life, Roni. Is that Gia? Gia? Is that Gia in the background? Gia writes. Oh. This honestly... This is honestly comical knowing you were with him for not even five minutes and were able to have somebody take a video of the interaction. Meanwhile, all you've done is talked so poorly about my father. Oh. You are such an opportunist and take advantage of the once in a lifetime opportunity to see my father and use it for a post. Oh, okay, gets better. Once in a lifetime. I don't know if it's a once in a lifetime bra- opportunity, bra- Gia, but you bra- are my queen. Bravo Lowdown collected all this. <laughs> so you see the Joe comment. We see the Gia comment I just said. Then Melissa writes, at Gia Judice, we both spoke poorly about each other. It was a nice moment. We have a lot of history together. Get the hate out of your heart. So then everyone's like, wait, Melissa's been writing for Joe. Oh. Like she forgot forgot to go on her own account. She she forgot to go on Joe's account. Okay. Oh, shit. Then she writes again. Then it writes again. And then it gets removed. They removed it? She removed it. Oh. And then Joe wrote, at Gia, we both said horrible things about each other. It was a nice moment. We have a lot of history. Um, get the hate out of your heart. <gasps> oh, come on. And Melissa should have just married then, it. Then and not Melissa it. has since said, um, Joe was using my phone and didn't switch to his account. And he was always writing it from Ooh, him. That's unfortunate. That I is... do wish that they weren't um, Unfortunate. Oh. in a fight because we love all of them. They're, yes. They're and all so nice. I wish they'd be and Louis... like America that we could all come together and right. just like go against like China. I wish they could all go against <laughs> like, uh, what's like her who? name? The, the, who looks like Rosie O'Donnell now? Oh, Caroline. I'm not like a big fan of like Caroline. So oh, I wish. So th- speaking of which, do you think? <laughs> I wish they'd all get together and just go against Caroline Wait, and be right. all together. If we're going to talk about Melissa, Caroline, you know, you know yeah. what happened, right? We did hear With, of, the, um, of the thing, yes. So let's just but jump tell to us, that. But tell us. Well, I've okay. Well, that uh, they were doing the ultimate girls trip. Brandy tried to kiss her several times. <laughs> then she shoved her in a bathroom. With Alex McCord and another person, and then grabbed her genitals or touched her genitals down there and her chest, and kissed her. And then Caroline she, went out. Caroline and got that said, haircut. "I have to get out. I have to get out." <laughs> They sent uh, Brandy home, and then Caroline went home a day early. And so everyone's saying, what do you think? Does Brandy never have to work? Should she never work again? Or what do you think? Well, people were talking about this this weekend. Like, has there been some rumor that she's just, like, completely out of the Bravo scenario? I mean, I, I she's Brandy Glanville has been 
very prolific. She's got did Celebrity Big Brother. She did the Traders. She's she's moved. I mean, I don't think that this is going to hurt her. In my opinion, in any way, Bravo's said uh, Jen Shaw was fired, and then went back and said, "Oh no, she isn't." So I mean, if they even if they said she was fired, I don't believe it because they also said they weren't doing Legacy, and now they're doing that. I mean, I think this is great. That everyone's going to watch this show, and they're going to keep her around because they're going to want her to. Continue Be on being, Watch What Happens Live yeah. and give her side or whatever. Was Caroline and, really scared for her safety? And then uh, there, I read on? another thing that Caroline said that she willingly made out with her. And I'm just like, of all the people... Wait, to, what? to think that you might be down, I don't think it's Caroline Manzo. No. But I don't think that well, she, she looks she like she is. Said that. that was like a rumor that. Oh, oh. That looks she, wise, she's looking pretty dikey to me. But I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I thought she looked like Rosie O'Donnell. I could not in this picture, but. I'm just saying her personality yeah, doesn't strike no, me no, as someone that would be like Brandy really, getting wasted and wanting yeah. to like make out no, with no, a girl no. for fun. Yeah, or no. even for attention. Like that. But uh, you know what happened with that girl, Leah, where they said she threw like elephant shit yeah. at like whoever, and all of that wasn't even true. Right. So at this point, it's like. And we, we kind of see bra- through Bravo's like desperate marketing of all these things, but I I do I definitely don't think Brandy's gone, and it you know they're gonna con- she's probably gonna be working better than ever because she's just gonna continue like grabbing pussies. She's like Trump, right? Except- and she, she's. Sh- <laughs> um, Wait, hold on. Let me go back to... You shouldn't okay, have been wearing so... those glasses in that short skirt, Caroline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was asking for it. Yeah, she was totally she was asking, asking for, it. for it. I mean, at the end of the day... <laughs> yeah, she looks like the girl in Scooby-Doo who's now out. Velma. Yeah. Don't look like <laughs> yeah. Velma. Do you think if I walked into a bathroom with some women that my pussy's not going to get grabbed? <laughs> Come on. Get out of here. Get out of town. I also love how they're like, they left early and it's like when on a th- flight three hours early than they were supposed to. It's a five day trip. I mean, yeah. I hate to be all victim shamey or whatever. I just don't really see. I don't know. Woman on. I don't know. I just you don't. I don't know. Well, we heard she know. threw like what? A bunch of cupcakes in her face and said this is for Dina, which of that, course. That no, a charcuterie board and I don't oh. believe it. OK. <laughs> well, I wish it was true because we are so here for Dina, obviously. Like now they're now that Melissa is saying that Dina and and Teresa are no longer friends. Dina didn't attend the wedding. T- uh, Teresa uh, said, "I want to home's life." No, we're fine. We just texted today. Mm. Teresa also went and met with uh, Jacqueline and oh. when they were in Vegas. And people thought it was because Jacqueline had written something derogatory about Melissa on Twitter. And so then she was like, "Hey, <laughs> let's talk. Want to have a five hour lunch?" Yeah. So they did. We Jacqueline's and, um, dying to get back on the show for sure. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we'll see. You know what's going on with Louis? People don't understand what his job is. It's about digital marketing with generational generation leads. <laughs> Jen Shaw. He's, Uh-oh, I hope don't not. generate those leads. Don't generate those leads, sir. Yeah, yeah I hope good. nothing bad happens because we love Teresa. So Luann did a show at 54 Below, which is a small club in New York where she's done a bunch of shows there. A couple things happened. A fan, allegedly, whatever, threw up. <laughs> On, on her. her vagina, like she was laughing, and it, and she was trying to, and she started no. to throw up, and she tried to hold the chunks in, and the chunks <laughs> projectiles got to her and got in her hair, and ale- her manager allegedly wiped it off her back in her hair. Oh, wait a minute, brutal. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Yes, brutal. Wait. So Luann was talking to a fan, Is singing like or talking, oh, singing or talking, probably like doing Q and A. She does like a forty-five minute Q and A, so she might have been doing a Q and A and been that close to a fan. And she said oh, something funny, I, see. I guess, and it was so <laughs> hilarious Man, that the girl threw up, which always happens when you're laughing really always, hard, I always, or and you, like, you, and then know, it went, other and, you, end. and it went. Now I don't think she was laughing so hard. I think. People get sick. really, really freaking drunk yeah. at these shows. Yeah. Because what else are you going to do? You know? And I mean, she's singing, you know, let's give them something to talk <laughs> about, <laughs> which is my go-to karaoke. Yes. So, you know, what do you do but get really drunk and like, whatever, and throw up? Oh, if man. you try to hold in, man. this has happened to me, the the main place is in a car, but if you try to hold it in and hold it in and hold it, it does in, project. It projects so far. Then yeah. if you would have just so hard. let it go. Yes. If you just bend over and do it, yeah, or lean out the window. But if you wait and wait and wait, it's like a shotgun. Yeah. It's like it's so true. Yeah, I mean, it's... I believe the story. Another part of the story was uh, mm. Dorinda was there, and talk about thirst. Uh, I had someone send me this photo. You can wait. see her. Where she, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. There she is in the middle dancing as everyone takes photos of her. I'm like, it's Come not on. your show, bitch. Come on. Anyway, so <laughs> the other stuff that was written into like Queens of Bravo is something is that she got so wasted, she was screaming at staff, and that she was escorted to leave before the end of the show. 
And then another girl said, we went up to her to try to get a photo while she was waiting for her car where someone was with her and she didn't want to take a photo and she was rude. She then did it live and said, not true at all. I just left early. Well, don't we kind of maybe hope and think it could have been Dorinda that projectiled? Yeah, but it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't, oh. but it wasn't. But um, I believe that she... And she was like, I don't know why people are talking about this. I've got to go to a beautiful lunch, and then I'm going to come home and get in my pajamas and take a two-hour nap. Why do you have to take a two-hour nap every day from four to six? I think it's because you had something to drink at lunch. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. my personal opinion. Anyway, who cares? It's no secret that this woman likes her martinis. No. 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 At all. And, and, it, and nothing is making Luann happier than all of this. Yes, that's so, right. So, like, good. Listen, you can now say someone vomited on you at your show. I mean, that's pretty iconic. I just saw something that they that this, an old iconic. An old video came out of Lady, Ga of Lady Gaga on her knees and having a girl puke on her. Like, she's ask she was asking her to puke on her. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. It happened. I saw it. Um... I don't agree but but I don't, with I doing understand. that. I don't I mean, it's understand. one thing to ask a girl understand. to come on stage and do it, like because you're trying to be controversial. But on, I mean, on, on. But when, but on. when like a 40 year old woman who's been breastfeeding for 10 years finally got to go out and started drinking at four, and and projectile vomited on Luann, that's a that's a different story. Yeah, that's, that's a, that a whole different scenario. Well, Julie thinks it's iconic, and for the girl who did it, it is iconic. Good luck to you. Yeah. Good luck to her. But I mean, the f I mean, that's just one of those stories that where you, as a performer, you can say that like it's maybe gross and do, it's horrendous. But... Maybe we should do a call in with her, Heather. We can get, or maybe we'll ask her on our podcast. The person who threw the up? vomiter. Yeah. I yeah. mean, how do you? And then for her, it's just like she has to. Was it on? Did they vid somebody no, video it? Nobody got that, so we don't so even at least know if it's she true. can. She can live it down. She doesn't have to relive it. It doesn't yeah, have to be. She can be anonymous about it, but that is hard. Core. That is so embarrassing. Yeah. So here she was like, "No, I didn't do it." Like she's oh, talking about. I it. didn't find it on her. Um, Kim Zolciak and Croy's George from Atlanta. Their mansion is in foreclosure oh and up God, for public auction. Yeah. Now she, there was a time this story came up before she did post where she's like, "No, you haters! I'll stay in here for as long as I want until I don't want to live here anymore." Um, but it really is hitting the auction block, and then she posted him Corey's butt and he's in a vacuum. Well, he's cleaning for the auction. He's probably cleaning for the auction yeah. or whatever and just like be jealous of my hot husband. And then some people were like, this, th there's nothing good about like someone's house getting foreclosed. No, I don't think so at all. No one's like happy that like their kids will have to move and this is humiliating. But she lived way beyond her means. Yep. She was super braggy. Mm -hmm. And listen, a lot of people downsize. They're in a huge Yeah, but you mansion. don't not pay your bills. Right. You and so that Karen from you, Huger can swoop in and buy your place exactly. for nothing. You sell your house, you downsize, you make some changes, you stop buying luxury items. Yeah. And you like are like, hey, we don't have our show anymore. We're down a couple million a year. How can we still take care of these four kids because the two others are adults? Maybe but like, I shouldn't give my teenage daughters facelifts and fake boobs and fake butts and make them into hookers. Whoa. <laughs> hey. You know what, Brielle? Who, who's, whose dick does Brielle got to suck to, suck to get those John Legend tickets? You know what I mean? Or to keep Let's this house? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so maybe she should have done Brielle that. have to suck in order for us to keep this house till the end of summer? Um, Why not just sell the house even at a loss? I don't know. Right, because to downsize because she's just terrible with money. Or well, I was hoping that maybe something would come in. I don't know. That, sometimes it's better. Culture. I mean, sometimes it's better. Maybe sometimes when you owe that much, it's like let's just live here rent free for another seven months, let it foreclose, and then we'll just rent something, but we'll pay like two years up front. And, and we'll file bankruptcy. And we'll file bankruptcy. Yeah. So that's why the We plan. don't advise that for people. Oh, your credit no. is all you have. I just want the kids to know, Annie, yes. keep your credit intact because it's not a good idea to end it's up with a, no credit. It's a big problem. This is a post that Raquel from um, Vanderpump Rules, which is back on, um, posted with Tom Schwartz. Tom Schwartz and Katie were married. They since got divorced mm. and they get together. They got together in real life. Oh. They got together on the show. They're going to get together on the show. We're going to see it happening. Katie didn't love that that happened. So then she posted it and was like, just because. And then Katie wrote, you really thought you did something here. But these comments, eight, LOL. I don't know what eight means, but LOL. Like, LOL. Yeah. Anyway. They, ki like, they, they killed. Like oh, they he, killed. Got, he got ratioed in the comments. Oh, okay. Great. And, or she did. I don't think Katie cares anymore and whatever. So, but the, the show has started and 
people are liking it's pretty juicy. Other people are saying they miss the the Jacks and the Stassi and but it's been this is the second season without Elvis people, so or is it the third? Oh. Maybe it's the third. I yeah, I mean that was since twenty twenty, and then I mean they've all like like Sheena had her baby summer. They've had their yeah. babies. Obviously, the season where Katie and Tom said respectfully because we love all of them and and Julie and I have known Schwartz like well before we did the after show, but um, that season where they got married, I mean they they knew they were kind of. They saw this this arc happening. Yeah, you know, and good for them. Like, keep, yeah, get keep get look at Kim Zolciak. You better keep getting paid, honey. Keep getting paid. Keep having kids. Getting divorces. Hooking up with best friends <laughs> that you shouldn't be getting with. I'm sure, like Brittany and Jax are like, um, no, we don't want to go on and end up with Schwartz getting with Brittany and Jax getting with Raquel, and then right. we have our kid. Like, no, you know, sister wives. As you know, Christine has left Cody. And she started to date, and she was doing these, like these videos where she'd be like, "Car confessions," you know, she's kind of dorky. <laughs> and she, and she'd be like, "Dating is so harder." And then she's like, "I met someone, and he's just really special, and I just want to keep it to ourselves." So she came out with who he is right before Super Bowl Sunday, and now it's full declaration of love. Oh. I, I finally have someone to dance with. He's like, "I'll dance with you for the rest of my life." Oh. But they've really only been dating like a month, three weeks. Well, they should go to Disneyland and do it. <laughs> Get down on his knees. But I think it will make for, um, you know, fun thing to watch. So he's going to be on, we're thinking, the new season. Yeah. Well, good. If I bought people, if we'll they're see not how watching thirsty this, he gets. Yeah. If they're not watching this on YouTube, I want them to just Google the photo of Christine Brown and her new boyfriend. Because if you really look, like, just... He pretend he has hair. Yeah. Obviously, we know Cody was rocking a goatee moment for a while. It's like he is giving somewhat mm. of the same, mm. like a bald buffer motorcycle. Look, it's Cody. a, it's a. Listen, this is what fifty-year-old men in America kind of look like. It's just a. It's he's like an average. 50-year-old dude who's nice to her. She I think is an a, average. I think he's sexier than... Well, I'm just saying they're giving both, a vibe. I said they're the most unaffected reality stars I've ever seen in my life. Like, nobody has gotten lashes. No one's gotten <laughs> giant teeth. No one's like, lost well, any weight. Cody appears to have gotten lip filler. That was pretty shocking. Oh. He but probably yeah. got lashes, too. Yeah. <laughs> and he got a perm and a, probably yeah. a hair transplant. But and he lost weight. For most... But, I mean, they're just, like, two average-looking people that are, like, have found each other and whatever. So... Well, good for her. I hope she's getting it and doing it. Yeah. And they look happy. He looks and like she he deserves... has a motorcycle with a sidecar on it. It does. Totally. I'm so into it. I, li so, I like the look of him. It's hard. Yeah. I like it. Motorcycle confessions. Oh. <laughs> She's going to be in the sidecar with like her hair blowing under the helmet like, oh. So today I'm so excited. My pumpkin and I are going on his motorcycle and truly so scared. And I said, don't be scared, but these are the adventures I want to do. That's We're going to take his grandkids with us. Up. Yep. Um. Uh, this I kind of thought was amazing, this story about, um, so this man in his 50s was being treated for this hormone, this hormone sensitive prostate cancer. And um, when he began, well, suddenly he began speaking in an Irish brogue accent for the first <laughs> time in his life. It's called foreign accent syndrome. He briefly lived in London and had Irish family and friends around him often, however. But the syndrome is also linked to a stroke, head trauma, and history of, psychi of psychiatric disease, according to past research. So Madonna had prostate cancer. <laughs> and Hilaria Baldwin. Exactly. Yeah. Or um, maybe just psychiatric issues. I just saw an old video of, like, Hilaria, like, doing, like, a little, like, hi, and welcome to a home tour with um, Alec and, like, when they're babies. This is probably, like, 10 years ago. And she's like, so I decorated this room in <laughs> white and blue because I'm Spanish and those it's a very Spanish look. And I really like those colors because I'm from Spain. And this is where all the banderinos stay. And, la, la. and I'm like, oh, my God. It just. It's so horrifying. It never. St it is so fascinating when you see them put together the tape and like Alec Baldwin doing a talk show and be like, and then my wife said, oh, why do you do this? Because she's from Spain and the whole audience just laughs. Oh, isn't that fun? I oh. swear to God, I just think she, I would like to know, I would like to go back and look when did, um, when did, uh, 
Modern Family begin? And when did she start her accent? Mm. Mm. Someone do the work for me because mm. I think she was doing Sofia Vergara. Oh. A version of Sofia Vergara. Well, I, she's exactly what you talked about at the wedding. Like, she didn't want anyone in the room. Right. Wait, so she, did she... So you were living with her in New York this whole time and she was born here and she yeah. she wasn't born in Spain? and She was born in Boston. And then they meet the whole family and then none of them I have saw, an accent. I saw this girl who was like taking some yoga, some dance class from... There was a dance yoga group or a yoga thing that was like a little bit culty. Mm. And she was in it and... Um, and she was really nice, but kind of fake, but like nice, like very like kind, you know, just like, oh, absolutely. And just like someone who's nice like that. <clears throat> and then one day they went to class and she like had the accent and everyone was just like, not <laughs> supposed to ask about it. Is that and so weird? You yeah. Know? Why does that happen? <laughs> Julie's prostate cancer's kicking in. Oh, my prostate cancer's happening. <laughs> mm, show me your papers. Remember I like the, Germany. The thing where she did the cooking class and yes, like, she like lime the cu- and everything, and, and she's doing her uh, accent. Yeah, and she's like, "How do you say mm, cucumber?" Yeah. And, da, 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 da. Yes. Yeah, and yeah, mm. oh. and and I also just I think that um, yeah, and she d- totally went to that vegan restaurant, the sexy vegan or whatever it was. Because she knew that he went there all the time. Yep. And like he was going to get with the sexy. Yeah. Vegan. And then she did one of those things where she was like, "I had no," and he was like, "She has no idea who I am. She doesn't own a television. She's from Spain. When she lived in Boston her whole life, and he was a huge movie star. She really did it. She really did. She should write a book. So, and you know, somebody was putting like the stuff of like. So then some people were like arguing with this girl who was kind of spilling the beans on her. And they're like, why do you care? Like, so what that she does this with accent? How did it hurt anyone? And then the girl's like, no, it did hurt because she's made about $10 million on being a Spanish influencer. She's on covers of magazines. She got deals. She got jobs. She got to be like a correspondent, an extra, all, only because she wouldn't have gotten it if she was just his wife. She got it because she was his wife. And she was a, a Sofia Vergara light, who was very, that was a popular thing that was a way to check a box of having an immigrant, it, making everybody, in a way of ever, making everyone comfortable. And this is cute, you know? Yeah. And so, like, she absolutely, and it's kind of genius. It is. That's like, why I, I mean, she's it's totally about. deceptive, but well, it's, it's like also tootsie. genius. It's like a, not, yeah. it's like a whatever tootsie. You it know is. What I mean? And it People does gotta come... do what they gotta do. Again. Yeah, like to be. Know. Yeah, he he wanted. He needed the job. He, he was gonna. He was gonna lose his sack insurance. He was gonna lose all of it. And yeah. Then he, then he had a conversation with his agent. He it said, "Became a woman. I could teach American women something." And his agent was like, "You can't teach American women anything. You're not a woman." Yes, I am. I'm an actress. Yes. It's a great scene. Anyway. Yes. It's just like her. And it's like the old chestnut when you go into the bar and act, and you know there's a celebrity there, and you play it off like you never heard of him. I mean, that's like a classic thing. Like, wait, what? I mean. If in you order want. To so get what do them. you do? Yeah. yeah, and then it's like, oh, I uh, act a little right. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the business, and then like, really? Oh, what cool. Business? Roofing business? <laughs> and then the girl plays it off like, oh, I'm like, I knew this girl that got with Owen Wilson, and she was Israeli, and she put on a full Israeli accent. But she was Israeli. She was Israeli, but, but she she was, didn't have an accent. She need she could yeah, up it, and she acted like she had just was visiting from Israel. Shalom. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he was like down for it because then he could go and do whatever and be like, goodbye, I'll never see you again, yeah. go back to Israel. And she was like, okay. And, um, you know, allegedly he put her in the hot tub right when they got back from Mondrian and- um, Owen did? Uh-huh. And? And this was like a few years ago or yeah. more than that, like over a decade ago. And um, and then, so it was like, okay, fine, like making out in the hot tub and stuff. And like, he, but they went right from the laundry to his house, right into the hot tub. Okay. But then when they got in bed, he was like tossing her straight to tossing her salad. I'll say that, even though I've been cussing this whole time. And, the re- and that's why you go, that's why you put her right in the hot tub. To clean her mm. asshole yeah. for anyone who doesn't <laughs> wow. understand. And I also feel like that right crooked nose could do some some deeds. Yeah. <laughs> some, some dirty deeds. deeds. Some deeds. And he and then he, he did it for hours. Hours? And then he, hours? No, it could have been hours. And they never had penetrative sex, and then he put her right on the cab, and she just went in there with her very clean, very deedy <laughs> deed salad and was like, okay, I guess I'm going on back to Israel, a.k.a. WeHo now. <laughs> And then I'm, she's probably like avoiding him, like, oh, great. I don't want to ever see him again. He thinks I'm Well, I come from Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> and I've never heard of anybody. What are you? What? <laughs> yeah. What, what, let me get, be a star. Pick a star. Pick a star. Do 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 it. It. Be any guy. That's okay. A, you're, who are you? 
I'm Hugh Jackman. <laughs> okay. No, he's gay. Uh, no, he's not. No, he's too old. I don't know enough of his who's, dumb movies. Know, who's a, um, who do you like? Brad Pitt. Okay, Brad Pitt. Okay. Okay. Can I have a Guinness? <laughs> <laughs> Irish car bomb. <laughs> Heather, if you don't go in, the bartender? if you don't go in t- talking like a leprechaun to every yeah. hot celebrity, yeah. like just walk up. Can I have a Guinness? Sir? <laughs> Hello, like, governor. Click your heels together yeah. like an ep- leprechaun. <laughs> oh. Let me see. I have to, I, whatever I have to do, okay, I, here, have we're to, at the I bar. immediately I get into it. Oh, hey. Hello, Miss McDonald. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Today, the announcements are our Lord and... Okay. Okay. So then I have to say, okay. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm so tired because I just got done with doing my river dance class. I'm absolutely <laughs> exhausted. Can I have a Guinness, please? Yeah, totally. Sure. Here. Here you go. Here's a Guinness. So, um, what's up? What do you, what do you, what do you do? Oh, I just came over here from Ireland. I have some relatives here. I'm going to visit oh. them. Um, what do you do? Oh, uh, you know, everyone out in entertainment, just like an actor, kind of. You know what I mean? I've done a couple uh, movies. Oh, you've done a movie? Were you an extra in them? No, no. Um, That's you know. where the charm really starts to happen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was just like in Bullet Train recently. <laughs> Maybe you've seen Inglorious Bastards. Oh, I don't like Thelma anything. I don't like anything with. Oh, Thumb and Louise. Mm-hmm. Oh, wasn't that about the two girls that went off uh, in the Grand Canyon? <laughs> yes, that's oh. right. That's right. Were you an extra in that? I was the hot cowboy that Gina Davis fucks in the hotel. <laughs> hmm. You look quite different now, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> just being a bitch. Yeah. Just like, yeah. yeah. Keeps and they love that. That's what they love, right? Love it, love it when you're a bitch. So if you guys run into any star, yeah. whatever accent you can pull from, your asshole, and it might get clean that night by Owen Wilson. That's right. Fingers crossed. Come on, deeds. Get the deeds done as long as you do an accent and you act like a bitch. I mean, Heather, we insist that you never, like, remember when, I mean, just as friends, I don't even care because you're obviously happily married, but like when you see like Mr. Big again, because he was like a, you have celebrity male friends. Still follow him. Just do, do your Irish accent. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he'll, he he might not remember that he knows you. I hope we run into some male stars soon. Yeah. Love. Hello, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Do you have any? We would like some more, please. Yeah, we can only do the little. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? My Irish is not good. Like when I had like. Accents are hard. My cousin, who was an Irish priest, and when all the nuns and priests at my school and high school were like always from Ireland, then I like had it really good. But it's been yeah. a minute since like I've heard you it. Just, I thought you did it great. It's just yeah, not. It's just not. I mean, I love sexy. talking to Stu because he's got. Oh yeah, that accent. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Time. But anyway, you guys, I love you. <laughs> Heather, Thank do it you in your accent so we believe it. Oh, you know I love you too, lessons. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go get some boiled potatoes. <laughs> And <laughs> some grass-fed cow. <laughs> and mm. we're going to get some cashmere sweaters and a oh. clattering that oh. we'll all share together. <laughs> Is cashmere from Ireland? I don't know. I remember I got a good cashmere sweater there I once. Bet. Um, so tell everybody, <laughs> it's brandyandjulie.com, right? Julie and Brandy. Sorry, julieandbrandy.com. Just go to julieandbrandy.com. All the information on our podcasts, our Patreons, it's all there. Um, fun, fun, and fun. Yeah, thank you for having us, Heather. It was, it was, it was fun. Mm-hmm. It really was. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>